robots. Even the word can strike fear into the hearts of moviegoers. The relationship between humans and machines has been explored in popular culture for decades. But at Western, a program designed to teach children how to build them is busting the Hollywood image of the killer robot. Hollywood often depicts robots as villainous characters that are set out to destroy humanity. But this is a very limited view of what robots are capable of doing. Dr. Jana Zhang of Western Washington University sees the potential robots have for helping people. It, we can use uh, the, uh, atomic, the atomic bomb to, to harm people. We can use it to generate electricity to benefit society. Robotics is the same. You can make a robotic weapon to kill people. You can make robotic nurse to help people. Robots can do uh, dangerous things that human beings are not supposed to risk their life for. And uh, we can send robots in the deep sea and instead of human beings. Because human beings will, will, will cannot uh, stand this pressure, but robot can. Those kind of things can benefit people we really need to uh, focus on that. Instead of focus on all oh, the robots are going to come take over the world. No, you unplug the robot. It cannot take over the world. Dr. Zhang currently runs the Artificial Intelligence and Robotics Society with help from her students at Western. The society gives elementary school students the opportunity to explore the field of robotics. My name is Kyle Rader. I'm uh, currently a sophomore here at WWU. I'm currently the president of the Robotics Club, the vice chair for the Western IEEE student branch, and I'm a junior supervisor for the Bellingham AI and Robotics Society. My favorite thing about robotics is how when you're, when you're in robotics, it forces you to see a bigger picture of an industry. So you're doing the hardware and the software, and when you understand how you're going to code something, it affects how you build it, and vice versa. If I understand how I want to code something, I'm going to build it differently. The members of the society are currently preparing for the Northwest Robotics Festival. They are building and programming robots to carry out various tasks related to food transportation. Through the process, they learn about engineering, programming, and how robots can be used to better the world. I am Ken, and my name is Cedric. This robot has just a giant scoop right now that I'm building, and I haven't entirely built it yet, but it is a scoop, and it will be a better scoop. So I'm supposed to back in, and then, like, I back in, hit the lever, and then the drums fall in, and I haven't finished this. There's supposed to be more. This is part of it. Like, I'm supposed to... Oh, well. Um, that's it. That's my robot. Uh, everybody else is using the same base. So, that is good. Everybody can get the same ideas. The Bellingham Artificial Intelligence and Robotics Society is a great way for people to learn more about the field of robotics. To find out how you can get involved, go to their website, www.all-aces.org backslash bears. That wraps up this episode of Western Window. But be sure to join us next time as we explore more of our world in and around Western Washington University.